Hey, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to track your text in LumaFusion. This is super simple, but there's a few things we need to be aware of. Going side to side and forwards and backwards makes this so much easier, but when you start adding pan and tilts, that makes it very difficult and near impossible to be smooth. So let's crack into it. The first example I'm going to show you is to pin this text to an object. This trick works best when used with fixed movement. So for instance, using a dolly to move forward or side to side. So what we're going to do is start off by creating a new title. And with this title, we're going to add an extra layer with a shape. I like to use a square for this because it's much easier to track to flat surfaces. With my first example, I'm going to use this gimbal as our subject and use the small square as a guide. As my clip is going from left to right, I'm going to go to the last frame and align my text and my anchor point and create a keyframe. I'm using the silver part of this gimbal as my anchor point as it has a nice vertical point which is easy to track. Now I'm going to head back to the start of the clip and create a new keyframe and move that anchor point back to the same position on the clip that it was at the end. Now what we're going to do is go back to our title editor and hide this square. Hit play and now you've got your track text side to side. So that's why I used that little square on the title as an anchor point. I could easily attach it to the silver part of the gimbal, which was easy to track because it had a nice vertical line. So when I keyframed, I had a nice reference point. Super simple, right? So now for our second example, where we introduce a bit of scale from moving in or out, we're going to have to do something a little different. So let's create a new title. And this time we're going to skip to the end of the clip, add our text, and for my anchor point, I'm going to use a circle. This will match up with a power button as this will give me a nice sense of scale. Set everything into position. So now that that title is created, I'm going to go to the start and as you know, the scale's changed. So what I'm going to do is resize it and align it to that power button as this is a great reference point. Match the size of the circle and then hide it once again. Press play and you should have a smooth motion. So now that we've done it like this, because of the scale, we may need to go back in and add individual keyframes. So to do this, just make sure you go through every frame and make sure that that anchor point is aligned to whatever you've stuck it to. And there you go. And there you have it, a nice short and sweet tutorial for you today. There'll be more in the future, but please be sure to check out my other content, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and please leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.